Okay, greetings everyone. Today I want to share is this. Okay, this is a HRK Vision Air Cyber Pro wire alarm system. So this is a set DHP HS 64 kit WD. Okay, so we take a look what is contained inside. Okay, inside you notice they have some button. We have a wireless key fob here. Okay, and we have a two PIR detector. Okay, and I have a keypad. Okay, and I have a banner as well. Okay, inside is already empty. This uh, panel. Okay, so the banner inside, we totally we have this all things. Okay, so okay, so this is a PIR. So I take him way away. And this is a wireless key fob. And this is the wire LCD keypad. So we take a look what is contained inside. So they have a hey, panel over here. Oops. So they have a panel over here. Okay, so this is the panel. Okay, so over the panel over here we have a, this is the keypad area if I'm not mistaken. And this is all zoning and this is a silent part. So I we have a description over here. So we can study on it. Later on I will do a little bit of this kind of wiring. Okay. So and this is the LCD keypad. Okay. So as you can we take a look. Okay, the menu here. And the resistance away inside. So, so it is a keypad. Okay, we can still get open. Okay, so we take it open on it. Okay, so this is all the wiring over here. Okay, so this is all the thing. I let that will do a setup and power it up. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I already done the all the wiring. So one thing I already uh I already do a connection between the panel to the keypad so the wire I will disclose later and over here I also using zoning for zone 1 to go into the magnetic contact zone 3 is going to the vibrations so the power is powered by this normal 2 pin power and I connected through a network so that's all the wiring so the activation have to done by PC Okay, so now we are on the PC view. So on the on this PC view, we can using this SATP. Okay, this SATP is the HRK tools that using for activate and also the modify the IP address. So over here, we take the device. Okay, so we put the device password over here. So we activate it. Okay. So when you're done ready, they have a if they have a DACP, you get the IP address ready. So as you listen, my device ready activated and my alarm is already triggered because I don't close my lid. Okay, so we double click on it. So we are using back the ID and password to access on the device. So we back over here ready. They have already have a some detection already we have detected the keypad already so but meanwhile we have to create the we have to enable the HRK connect because we are using mobile it's more easier than the using all the all, all the web browser over here so going to device management 
going to the uh, sorry going to the configurations going to a device access enable it then you click save on it so the device is safe success already so if if, I say, if this doesn't online uh, you have to check your network setting does this all the ip gateway and dns they have ready or not okay so make sure it's online so we back to our mobile view to do our configurations and everything over there Okay, now we back to the our mobile view. So mobile view, I want to share is about here. Okay, I have a banner. Okay, the banner I already have for two wire. Okay, one wire on for using channel one, and this is channel three. So this is channel one and channel three. Okay, so we classify is zone one and zone three for somebody ready to the alarm for long times. Okay, and this is a keypad. I already done the wiring and I put the sounder over here already. Okay, but this is careful some they give you a very little voltage so i recommend that you use the sounder that uh hik hik vision sounder okay so we back to the hik connect apps over here so make sure you are done everything ready so you have done your account but for my personal opinion you can use your email to do account it's much more better okay so we're going to home you add the device scan the qr so you back to the scan the qr you do you see they have a qr over here you just scan on it okay click add on it okay so we finish on it so for skip we skip on it so you can see already i have uh, done the hybrid pro here so it's done so going to enter the as hybrid pro so going to device Okay, so yes, you see the keypad already done. Okay, so now we are going to add device. So going to press plus, we add the wire device. So device type you as a detector, channel number plus channel one. So click on it. It's done already. So this is for usually zone one for the main door. So you can using for the main door, you can put it as a main door okay so channel number is one so this have to be a dot magnetic sensor okay so dot magnetic sensor zoom time usually we use it on the delay so entry time we put it five seconds because we are using on the testing only testing only so after you're done ready just leave it okay done all the all the things just leave it for the done ready you're just going back so the main door this is already done so we add another we add uh, another wire this is the for the uh, grill okay so something like a window area so we can detect the select channel with on the channel 3 so if we add on it so zone you can use as a first floor window okay so done ready to uh, the channel number but the detector we have to change to the shock detector okay so you leave it at instant so but for some kind of people they see they have a double knock over here so i recommend that for those some people don't like to have a false alarm you just enable a double knock make it a five second because five seconds he trigger for not one time he will not trigger the alarm but within the five second he trigger two time he will not he will trigger the alarm so usually i recommend the people to do it this lah uh, from over my testing i don't think i using on it okay so that's all lah. okay so this is how we add the uh, detector so now we add the sounder as well Okay, the sounder we can use it at wire device to make it sounder. Just that. So for me, I recommend that you use better the HIK sounder is much more better. It because um because this I provide is very less voltage, so it's enough to power it up. But for HIK, they're using their proper voltage, so it's much more better if you're using HIK HIK sounder. Okay. So it's done ready. So 
Now already done. Okay. Now one more thing. I want to do a keypad. So we back over the keypad over here. Device. So as you see, there are keypad already done and wrote. But I want to change the password. So I want to create the pin. We going back to the over here. We click the setting. So do you see they have a user management? You click the user management. Click the user. Click your email. Change the keypad password. So over here you can put a uh, uh, one one seven seven. Okay. So it's done ready. So we back over here. We can try the keypad. So if you want to go into the arm, you just put one one seven seven. Arm. I'm away. So okay, so this is how the thing arm. So we take a try over here. We take out the MMC. They will have a delay. And start to have a trigger alarm over here. Okay, and I also have some notification already. Now they will treat they were telling you uh, have a trigger ready on the HI corner apps over here. So you want to disubmit, you can whether you can try away using your keypad to disubmit. You disubmit quite very easy. You just put back your password. Click this up. Okay, so we try one more time. Okay, so we arm it back. Okay, so this time I want to try using the vibration sensor. Okay, sorry, they have a, a lot of notification. Alarm restore. Okay, alarm is away. I'm ready. Okay, so we try to knock it. One, two. So you can see they have a trigger already over here. And also the apps already done trigger. So you go into apps over here. They were telling you that trigger first floor window. You click on it. So going back to the apps over here. So you just using click the disarm. Okay. So this how using cloud to do the HAX Hybrid Pro. So this is the way we configure all the stuff. Please like and subscribe to my channel.